Well, hello everyone, Lock Garden and Bird Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video. And in this video here, I just wanted to say that my butterfly habitat. What's up, Casper? That my butterfly habitat has arrived in the mail, and I just wanted to unbox it and transfer my caterpillars over. So let's jump into it. following my journey then you know that um i had a surprise visitor a female monarch butterfly that laid over 60 eggs in my yard i collected 60 of them and um there was still a lot that were out here um in the garden and i actually came out this morning and i was looking for some fresh milkweed leaves and i found two caterpillars and i saw wasps so I saved those two caterpillars, so I have 62 now. And um, I'm gonna have to buy two more um, butterfly habitats, but this came in two days. So I just wanted to unbox it, show you guys what it looked like. I wanted to actually see the size of it first um, before I ordered all four or five of them. Um, so I'm just gonna unbox this and I'm gonna show you guys this butterfly box. All right, I hope that you can hear me. So my little table that I use outside it is actually close to the road, to the street. So um, I apologize about the cars in the background and I just hope that this is picking up everything. All right, so this is the box that it came in. And So it is packaged really well. To get you a better look. So it is. Yes, baby. So it is packaged really, really well. Um, real tight package here. It is the. It is the rest cloud butterfly cage. And I'll pop this bad boy open. And so it has in here um, information, a pamphlet is what I, and I really like this feature and how to raise butterflies. Um, it contains butterfly life cycle, preparing the cage, find the egg, care for the caterpillar, care for the chrysalis and care for the butterfly. So it has this little pamphlet in here and seems to be a lot of good information in it. So yeah, like that pamphlet. Let's get the page out. So it's sealed really nicely with this um, little band here to keep it from popping so let me zoom out so i'm just going to oh so the band attaches to it so that's good oh. wow this is
that's it I have gotten all my cats transferred over to the one um butterfly case that I had I am going to return the other one that's broken and order three more I'm gonna order four more so that I can have six of them in all and um, I'm also gonna go out to a nursery that's about an hour away from my house they sell native milkweed it's called nearly 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 native nursery and so I am going to put a link to them in the description box just in case you are in Georgia and you've been looking for a place to um, purchase native milkweed because majority of the milkweed that I have has been purchased from purchased from well the milkweed that I purchased has been from Home Depot and um, it's actually tropical milkweed and you know how I feel about tropical milkweed and so um, I have a lot of milkweed native milkweed that I've grown from seed and I'm pretty sure that I have more than enough milkweed but I would rather be I'm a very I err on the side of caution so I would rather um, actually have more milkweed than not enough so just to be on the safe side because I did end up collecting a couple more caterpillars um, while I was getting while I was getting fresh leaves um, I noticed there were holes in some of the leaves and I looked up under them and I saw live caterpillars but um, I was gonna just leave them out there but I also found some holes in the leaf where it's obvious that it was a caterpillar there but the caterpillar is nowhere to be found so and it was wasps out there so I'm pretty sure that the wasp has made a meal out of some of the caterpillars and that there were some eggs I left the eggs there but the live caterpillars I just couldn't leave them on there knowing that they would eventually be dinner for those wasps that was out there so um, I did collect maybe I think it was six yeah could have been more than six um I kind of lost count of how many I collected that were um actually live caterpillars out there and um like I said I noticed where there has been some caterpillars eating on some of the milkweed and there were caterpillars nowhere to be found near that leaf so um I'm pretty sure it, they got eaten um earlier but anyway um, I will do a sep another video um, and try to keep up with the growth of the caterpillars and the in the different instars and everything. I will do another video explaining the different instars of caterpillars and what to expect. And what I ended up doing is I ended up lining the um, I ended up lining the bottom of the cage with um, the little puppy pads that I have. That's what I use in my bird cages and it's just because the paper towels it was windy out here and the paper towels just kept folding up and blowing up and moving the leaves so i took that out and i put in the puppy pad and the puppy pad actually um what do you call it the puppy pad actually um has the adhesives on the bottom and so you're able to actually remove those um you're actually ta able to tape it to the bottom of the the cage so that ended up working a lot better um, than using the paper towels once I get the plant in there once they get big enough and I can transfer them over to a plant then um, I won't have to worry about using the puppy pads I'll be able to use the paper towel because the plants will hold the paper towel down but there's nothing in there right now to hold the paper towels down so I can see probably within the next um, couple of days I will be I'm, I want the caterpillars to get a little larger before I put them onto the plants um, and I want them all to hatch because I don't want them to hatch and go looking for milkweed and um, have some of them um, kind of lurching um, getting lost up under the pod and on the side of the pod and everything so what I'll probably do tomorrow is I separate the ones that haven't hatched yet and put them in my um, makeshift um, butterfly box just keep them in there and then transfer them over so yeah so thank you so much guys for watching and I'll put a link in the description box of the other videos that I did the two that I did before this one and I will put a link in the description box on where I got the um the butterfly um the butterfly cages I don't want to give them a bad review because I I don't want to give them a, a bad review just because there was um, the scene wasn't in there right. Uh, it was disappointing because I wanted to go ahead and separate them into two um, cages. But it actually worked to my advantage because I do need to find time to find where to put them outside because they're bigger than I thought they were going to be. So I do need to find um, another place to put them outside than what I originally had planned. 
so but besides that yeah guys thank you so much for, for watching and as usual to lose bye bye